talk about the do's and the don'ts of dating. I get a lot of DMs from women who are wanting to date and things are going wrong. Some of them have started dating already and the guys are not calling them back. Some want to date and they don't know what to do because they haven't been on the scene for a long time. Dating is very hard in African countries especially, only because there are some expectations of um, families when you go out and date. And the ones that don't have any kind of family influences, they do all the wrong things. So we're going to go through some of them just so we can stop the don'ts because the don'ts are crippling a lot of ladies because the guys are not calling back and they don't know why. So we're just gonna go through them and see how um, it goes. Are you ready? Good. So you turn up, the guy is standing by the door waiting for you to walk towards him. You're walking towards him. Your legs are shaking. You're in a very tight dress. You keep pulling it down because it's too short and everything is popping out. You're wearing five or six corsets just to hold your stomach in. Your hair is so bad, it doesn't move in the wind. And you've caked your lace and parton with so much makeup so he thinks it's your hair. Your face has got too much makeup in it. Everything is disguised. So the guy doesn't even know what your actual features are. Now the first thing he sees is going to be doing, 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 doing. I'm going to be fucking that tonight. That's what he's going to see, babe. Go in a dress that you're very comfortable in. Something that's tight, but tight enough, but not too tight. Long enough, just so you can be comfortable and you don't have to keep pulling. You know, shows a little bit of cleavage, but not too much. Don't wear something that you have to wear four or five different courses so you can hide your stomach. You know, all of that hair. If you can't afford good hair, please just tie your hair back. Put enough makeup to show your features, but not too much to disguise them. So he knows what he sees because what happens is that when you overdo all of this, you feel like you need to keep up. And then when he sees you normal, you're worried that he's going to go for somebody else because he never saw you as you are. That's the problem. So going in there a little simpler, maybe just half a notch down from what you would usually do with your friends. Keep everything to a minimum. And the guy might just look at you and think, okay, maybe I want to get to know this girl. That's what's important. The guy has asked you out. You're meeting somewhere. You want to meet him as well. And you go with fwink in your pocket. You haven't even got E5 cities. You know, you're expecting him to pay for your dinner, maybe get you home, and then maybe buy your drinks later on. Stupid. When you're going on the date, what you have to do is make sure you have enough money. Don't go expecting the bill to be paid by the man, although he's the one who asked you out. I know some of you are going to say, he asked me out. It doesn't matter. Take enough money just so you can make the offer. And if he accepts it, then you can pay. Don't be pissed off. Don't be angry. Yes, you have to pay some. But if he says don't, it's okay. Next time, you pay the bill. Take some money with you. And pay the bill sometimes. It doesn't hurt. You know, you can't go in there with swing your pocket and then let the guy pay for everything. But, you know, some of you are like that. Listen to mommy Stephanie. Why? All right, let's move on. So you get on the date and you're sitting and he buys you a drink and you're talking and he asks you how you are as your family and um, what kind of family do you have or would you go to school? And then you talk about how you can't pay your school fees. And then you talk about uh, how your mother can't pay her rent. You talk about how your, your sister is sick and you need a car and uh, you can't buy your makeup, you can't buy your school books. You will have to walk home every time. Your, your bills are not paying, you have no electricity. All of that kind of bullshit and you tell him everything but the kitchen sink you're just a girl right now who looks like you're fuckable because you came in a very tight dress with your boobs hanging out and you're sitting there talking about uh, you can't pay your electricity fuck that how the hell did you iron that stupid dress don't give way too much information that than the question that's been asked and as soon as you answer the question pass it back to him let him tell you also who he is you know, ask him, okay, so your parents around, you know, and, 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 and listen. It's really important that you, you, you listen to each other because the details are in the questions. How you get to know the person are in the questions. So don't overshare. Not when you're dating. Get to know him. Allow him to get to know you. And then maybe it would build a bit more and then you can talk more. Do we understand each other, my ladies? Okay.
Let's move on. You, a small detail. If you have to go to the toilet or you need to go to the bathroom, you look at him and you say, can you excuse me? I want to use the bathroom. You always have to say, would you excuse me before you get up? And the man, if he's a gentleman, he will get up as well. He doesn't sit and stare at you. Okay, okay, go bra away. Be sure that as you're walking, he's staring at your butt. Let him stare. And then as you walk, turn back, look at him and smile. Ha! There you've got him. Practice that. Okay, let's move on. When you get to the dinner and you're looking really cool, you get to the chair. If he's a gentleman, he will pull the chair for you. He will just walk behind you and pull the chair. Now, before you sit down, don't just plonk your big butt on the chair. Do you know what you have to do? Turn to the side, poke your butt out, and sit, and then swing your legs together. So he should walk behind you and pull the chair back. And as you walk to the chair, turn, sit, and swing your legs. That's how you sit down. Good. Let's move on. So what you never want to do, ever, ever, ladies, ever want to do is talk about your ex. Never talk about what your ex used to do for you, what he used to buy you, how he used to treat you, all of that kind of bullshit. Please don't talk about your ex. Never. There's no point. You're not with him anymore. There's no reason to talk about your ex. What about your ex? He's your ex. Fuck him. You don't want to be talking about him. He might even know him. And that's a bad thing. So don't name names and don't talk about your ex. That's all. Next one. And for this session, lastly, we're going to talk about not getting drunk. There's nothing uglier than a woman who is drunk. A lot of you go out and you think, especially if it's your first date, you think, oh, let me go and spend all his money. Let me order the most expensive things and just get drunk and eat too much. Oh my God. That's just... The worst thing you could ever do, even if you know you're never going to see the guy again, don't do that because word goes around that you are a drunk and you want to, you like to spend people's money. It will go around. I mean, it doesn't matter whether you're in Timbuktu, we'll hear it in Australia. There's now social media, everything goes around. So please don't get drunk. You might do something you don't want to do. It's a no, no. No, no. And don't order everything on the menu because if at the end of the evening he left his wallet, you'll be paying or you'll be washing up in the kitchen. Which do you want? So, just eat adequate. He hasn't even fucked you yet. So, don't order the most expensive thing on the meal or get drunk. It's ridiculous. Just go as a lady and leave as a lady. That's all. Okay? Thank you. At the end of the evening, you have your jacket on, if you have one. If you don't, that's okay. You're about to go. He's saying, he's a nice guy, he's saying, I'll drop you home. So don't worry, my darling. I'll take you home. Where do you live? First date. Never do it. Don't allow the guy to take you home. Get an Uber or get a taxi. I don't care if the guy's a friend of a friend of a friend and you think he's safe. Don't do it. That's the worst thing you could possibly do. Maybe your instance might turn out okay, but the chances are it may not. Something nasty might happen to you. He might not be a stand-up guy, and you don't want anything to happen to you because it just breaks your spirit for a good man for later on. So please don't put yourself in that situation. Get an Uber or get a taxi. It's very important you do that. For the first date after dinner, go home. Or call your friend and or friends who are out and go out with them if you want to party some more. But do not hang with him for too long. Just have your dinner, have drinks at the bar in the same place and get your big butt home. Okay? Maybe after the third date, you can ha hang out a little longer with him. Um, and then that way you give him yourself in stages. That's how you build a relationship. Don't give too much at once, a little bit, and then let them get used to you and get to know you. 
and then move on to the next stage. That's how it works. Okay, ladies? So get your own self home. Make sure you have money to um, get an Uber or call a friend. But don't let him take you and don't let him pay for it. Please, madam. I mean well. So, what do you not do? Get into a car with him. Repeat. Get into a car with a stranger. Don't do it. All right, my ladies, this is it for now. We will talk about the next set of rules in the next post. I love you. You know I do, right? Bye. It's you. I love you. Baby, it's you.